Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. As you saw in the title today we are doing a one brand first impressions try on. Um, this is Joa Beauty. Am I saying that correctly? Joa Beauty. Um, so I was at CVS grabbing some vitamins and stuff the other day and I stumbled upon this display. I think it's been there for a while. I've just never really paid attention to it. Um, it was kind of one of like the side aisles so it wasn't like a huge display but they did have a decent amount of product so I think I picked up like a pretty pretty much full face. I have foundation, concealer, powder, blush, highlight, all that stuff, a lipstick, a mascara. Um, the only thing I didn't get was like an eyeshadow or like a brow product. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I think we have a decent amount of stuff here to test out. So if you guys are interested in seeing me play with some new products at the drugstore, well, new for me, I feel like I say that all the time, like new products, well, they're like new for me. Um, but this stuff, I haven't really heard anybody talk about. I think it's it's newer at CVS. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing my first impressions and a little try on test out situation for Joa Beauty, then let's get started. So I need to actually unwrap all of this stuff because it's all brand new. Um, first up, I have the Selfie Ready Pore Minimizing Primer and I will be sure to, I don't know if I'm gonna link stuff, but I will leave prices here and then I will of course leave stuff in the description box below. So if you're interested, you can check it out. These dogs are crazy, man. How the heck? And I'm gonna try and open all of this without destroying my manicure. A little ASMR for you guys. That was probably super annoying. So this is the Selfie Ready Pore Minimizing Primer. You get 1.01 fluid ounces. This feels so cheap. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say that. This feels very cheaply made. It's like, it's like that gross plastic and then this, it just is like not even full all the way and it just feels like cheap makeup. Um, but we're gonna give it a try. Um, it says it's paraben free, oil free, pore minimizing kind of it. Um, doesn't tell you how to apply or anything like that or what it's supposed to do. I mean, I guess it's pretty self-explanatory, poor minimizing primer, but get off. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It looks like Elmer's glue and it smells like Elmer's glue too. This does not smell good. And it's can you see that? Oh, I don't know about this, guys. This literally feels like the consistency of glue without it being, like, sticky. And I don't really care for the scent. I'm not going to lie. Once you rub it in, it feels, like, kind of nice, though. It's not sil... Mm, I don't know if it's, like, silicone-y or, like moisturizing I am just really confused um now it feels silicone -y, but when you first apply it it feels moisturizing I don't know I just put that in my t-zone I don't think it's like thick enough to be pore filling it's not like a jelly texture or not silicone -y because like even my tart clean slate is like a putty that you like press in and it really like spackles everything smooth this feels smooth, but I do still feel quite a bit of texture. But everything looks like super matte, so maybe that's the intention, that it's supposed to be mattifying and pore filling. I don't really know. We're going to move on to foundation, though. So I have the Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop, and I have mine in the shade Natural Beige. Um, I think it'll work. We'll make it work. It's fine. Um, So does it... Nope, doesn't tell me how to apply it or anything. So I'm going to open this bad boy up and then I have a wet beauty blender here and a foundation brush. So we can try it two different ways. So this is what it looks like. It's a nice like glass bottle and it has like the dropper top. How much do you get? You get 1.01 fluid ounces. Oh my God. These are all manufactured by Kiss. Like, you know the brand, like Kiss Lashes? This is all made by Kiss. So I guess it's an extension of Kiss. Well, not an extension, but owned by... Okay. The top is like crusty and dry. 
I need to shake this up. Can you hear how liquidy that is? Y'all, this is not about to go well. Oh, this is like straight liquid. I don't know if a beauty blender is going to be the way to go because it's going to just soak up everything. Um, I do have a beauty blender here. I know it's not clean. I've only used it one time though and I really didn't want to like have to wash it. So <sighs> literally. So I was not expecting this type of coverage. I mean... That's pretty good. This is a little dark for me, I know, uh, but I only bought one shade and it was really hard to judge. This looks significantly darker on my face than it does in the bottle, so it was kind of hard to figure out. Um, but all of that product off the back of my hand is pretty much gone now, so... <laughs> I am going to try this with a brush because I just used so much product to try and cover that much. Like all I pretty much got was like this cheek section and half of my nose. So I'm going to try a brush. Oh my God, I just spilled this everywhere. This is a mess because it's so liquidy. All right, we're going to try a brush and see if um, I can get this to go a little bit further because I'm going to be using so much of this. The sponge just kind of soaks everything up. But if you don't care about using a lot of product, I like the finish of the sponge. I think it's a little bit more full coverage. But they both apply really, really nicely. And I'm just using, honestly, like a cheap, this is just like an e.l.f. like foundation brush. And that covered, and it doesn't look terrible on my skin. Like, my pores are... I mean, this looks kind of good. What the heck? I am so pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I didn't have high hopes for this. I feel bad saying that, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. I was a little sketched out by the fact that it's foundation drops. I didn't know if you like mix it in with something or if you wear it as like a straight foundation. And the color selection kind of irritated me because I had a hard time picking which color I wanted and I feel like it's oxidizing a little bit I don't know if that's just me um but I think it is a little bit too dark obviously for me right now um my neck is a little bit lighter I mean it matches mm, it's a little dark um but aside from the color I just had a hard time picking the color because I mean in here it looks like this it looks like it would match my neck perfectly, but then once you apply it to the face, it's a little bit darker. Um, but I would say this dries matte. I think this is a like satiny matte. My skin feels really smooth. The one thing I will say that I really do like about this is because it is so thin, like my skin feels fresh and like lightweight and just like good. It does not feel heavy. It does not look cakey. That's a super plus. So I am pleasantly surprised upon first application. Um, don't hate it. Next up we have the Truly Yours Full Cover Concealer and I have mine in the shade Porcelain. This looks a little dark to be porcelain. I don't know. Um, again, the shade range on this, not, not amazing. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This reminds me of like old school, like classic drugstore shade range selection, like maybe 10 colors to choose from. Not, not a super extensive one by any means. So it's a little squeezy tube situation here. Again, I mean, this one feels a little bit better because the tube is like a matte plastic, but the pa plastic cap just feels like so cheap to me. It doesn't have an applicator, so I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hand. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, for this, I'm going to go in with a sponge because this is how I apply concealer to get the most coverage. Ooh, she's thick. Okay. I'm not very good at picking stuff out because in the tube, this does not look the same. I feel like all of these products are super deceiving. This is so bad. Oh my God. This color is not it. Gotta just keep blending. <laughs> um, this is not full coverage. And I already used all of that on the back of my hand. 
Yeah, I don't really care for this one, I don't think. I don't think this is... Oh, it's creasing so bad already. I mean, it blends into the foundation nicely. I'm going to try this side with a brush just because I'm genuinely curious. Maybe these products are just not ideal for sponge application. Y'all. <laughs> Oh my god, this concealer is so bad. I can't I do not care for this concealer at all I don't think it's full coverage I think it's like a light coverage and it's creasing so badly one thing I will say in its defense it did blend Into the foundation pretty nicely, but oh my god, it's creasing so bad and I feel like I have no coverage I don't care for this at all um so this is gonna be a no for me. Next up, we have a Selfie Ready Setting Powder and this is translucent. Oh, this is nice packaging though. You get like the twisty sifter situation, um, but there's a sticker on top of the, of course there is. Of freaking course. Oh! <gasps> Fuck my life. Oh, oh my god. No! This is a freaking disaster of a powder. Ugh. This is not going well at all. So I'm just going to tap a little bit. I really feel like this is going to give me such bad flashback. I mean, it sets everything like super, super matte. I don't love the fact that this is like white translucent. I do like powders with a hint of color in them even just like a little peachy beigey shade because I am gonna get really bad flashback I feel and I just look so white and not great uh. <laughs> can you see it's not good oh my god I don't care for this powder either. It's just, it's too finely milled and I think it's gonna give you flashback. I, it's like a stark white, it's a mess. I do not care for this at all. I just don't think that this is my thing. I have other powders that I really, really love and that is not one of them. So I do have two face palettes. I have the Be My Everything Blush and Bronze palette and then the Be My Everything Highlighter palette. So we will give these two a test. So this is what it looks like. Um, so this is, I guess, supposed to be your bronzer end here. And then these are like your blushes. I don't really care for stuff like this because my bronzer ends up looking really pink. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna give it a fair shot So I'm gonna take a little bit more of a detail brush and I'm pretty sure this is clean It's just stained really really badly um, and I'm going to dip into this side here And is this shimmery? Yes, it is shimmery <laughs> great Where is it? Let me try like a fluffier brush maybe. Do you guys see it? <laughs> I'm not seeing it. So I'm seeing a little bit here and it just looks so muddy. I wonder if like stuff's just not blending nicely on top of the powder. But look, it just, this is really killing me. This bronzer is not good. If you are 
my shade or darker like even a shade lighter than me I, it's just not going to show up on you I don't know if it's just not a pigmented product I mean there's just nothing coming off all right let's go in the middle here for the blush because I think this one is definitely going to be too light for me um so let's kind of This is going terribly. Um, I'm not seeing anything on my face. I'm seeing a hint only because it looks very ashy, I would say. It looks gray, like very, very gray. Like if I look at you straight on, this looks super gray and grungy where I like a really nice, rich, like warm healthy looking and this is not doing it for me I'm getting a little bit of a sheen from it which I don't hate at all like I actually like that in my bronzers and blushes but I mean I'm literally mixing all of them together and just not really getting much of anything so this again is one of those like box products um, you get three shades in here, which is pretty, let me take the plastic off so you can see. You get three shades in here. You have a pearl, sunbeam, and champagne. So also, that's not how you spell champagne. This is spelled C-H-A-M-P-A-I-G-N. There's no I in champagne, right? I'm like, I'm not crazy. Interesting. Um, so I think I'm going to take sunbeam and pearl and just... Did you guys just see how much, look, how much flies off? Ooh, the kickback in these is horrendous. These are the ashiest, chalkiest highlighters I've used in my entire life. Oh my god. This is the worst makeup day I've had in a really long time. These are not great I think these are powdery and not really metallic or that like highlight that I'm looking for I just feel like these are cheap and not good quality I have highlighters from the drugstore like pixie milani those ones are buttery creamy bright I mean wet and wild don't even get me started these are so chalky and kind of a mess. I mean, look how much I've dug into them. Can you see? And I've literally used them once. And you can, I like, I've already made like such a big dent in them because they're so powdery. I do not care for these at all. I think, again, save your money, invest, invest the $5 in Wet n Wild and get one of their like phenomenal highlighters. I just look how I look how ashy this is all right so I do have an eye scream volume and length mascara I'm getting really cranky because my makeup looks so bad like oh my god it's sealed again this is getting outrageous like truly outrageous God, they're using so much plastic. You're killing the environment. All right, so this is what this looks like. Um, it's in the shade black, like I said. I mean, it just looks really cheap to me. I'm I'm really sorry. It just this like gold plasticky is not that nice. This tube is really really light. It feels like there's nothing in it. Um, yeah, I'm just not really into it. Um, but that's okay. We're gonna try it out. This is what I mean by when it looks cheap. This white, there's no product on here. Like, it feels like there's no product in this tube. Like, oh my God, this is going to be terrible. And this is a fiber mascara. 
I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going like old school beauty YouTube here, but there's like fibers sticking up off of it. Um, I really, I'm really nervous. Oh my God. I don't really care for fiber mascaras. I wear contact lenses, so I cannot have any sort of anything falling in my eyes and it just makes me very nervous. This is doing nothing. You. Which eye did I put mascara on? Don't know because it literally looks the exact same. There's no volume, no. Oh my God. This, what is this brush? Like a flat, like. This was such a waste of money. I'm really mad. Yikes. And I was going to go in like with a little bit of bronzer in my crease, do like a full eye look. I literally had false lashes picked out here, drugstore lashes. I was going to do like a whole look and I just, I have to stop because it's so bad. Like I hate everything. But the thing is like, I mean, I guess it doesn't look that bad. I don't know. I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Um, so this has been a total disaster, but let's see if we can salvage it with one last product. Um, this is the I'm Your Jelly Bay Matte Gel Lipstick, and I have mine in the shade Honey. So let's just let's just see if we can find one product that we like. So also, I wanted to tell you guys something. If you get nothing from this video, aside from I hate everything, one really cool thing about a lot of drugstore lipsticks is, so you know how stuff usually has like this clear top here where it's supposed to like show you what the color is. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you pull the top off, so you pull, pull the bottom off where the color is, you get lipstick in here. Crazy. So I don't really know if this is like intended to be like a tester so you can actually test out the color you're purchasing because lipsticks are sealed. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I would want anybody touching anything on the lipstick that I'm going to buy. It just doesn't seem very sanitary to me. But for a lot of lipsticks, um, I know like e.l.f. lipsticks do this. I think the Milani ones that I have do this. I have a few like this. If you pull the bottom off, there's more product in there. So if you run out, if you want to look at it at the store, like you can actually, there's, this is like actual lip product in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So just something cool. Like I said, if you get nothing else from this video, show just something fun, fun fact of the day. It has a very unique scent. It has a strong scent. Um, I guess it's peach, but it's a very artificial peach. This is the weirdest formula. So it is soft and creamy, like a gel texture, very almost lip balm feeling, but it is matte. I don't really understand. I'm having a really hard time comprehending what's happening on my lips. It's really unique. Y'all, I don't even know how to explain this. It feels jelly and soft and creamy and comfortable like it describes it being like a gel lipstick. And it does have the matte finish. Don't really get that much product. This is as high as it scrolls up. Um, but again, you get more in the lid, more in the cap. Um, I just don't really care for, yeah, the scent of this. It's a little too strong for me and it tastes like soap. Um, but it's not terrible. It's not the worst thing. The scent reminds me of something. I just, I cannot put my finger on it right now. And the scent and taste does linger. I will say that. Um, I think the color had potential to be really pretty. It's definitely a lot more brown in the tube than it applies to your lips. It's definitely like a more pinky purple color. So that's kind of my beef with a lot of these products. They're not true to what it looks like in the packaging and especially at the drugstore when you can't swatch and test and try on all these things like you can at like an Ulta and a Sephora it needs to look the way it does in the packaging because that's the only way you can choose your shade like this was porcelain and it came out significantly lighter than it is in the tube 
This I thought was gonna be a great shade match for me and it's so much darker on my face. I just, I'm really, really bummed. I was so hopeful that I was gonna find something here that I like really, really love. I don't know, I just, I wasn't like blown away by anything and I feel terrible saying that because usually when I do like a try on or first impressions, I can find at least one thing I really, really like. I didn't like love anything. Um, so if you guys have tried out anything from this brand and there's something that you really, really love that I should try out, help me change my mind. I really do want to love this brand and I want to try a bunch of stuff from them. I just, I don't know. I'm not impressed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. It was kind of a train wreck. And again, I don't know if it's just me or I'm not trying the right things. I don't know. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and find it helpful, give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't let this video be for nothing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.